Hey guys, welcome back to Karamia's Corner. I hope you guys are all doing well. I am back with a project share, and this is for hashtag spooky or sweet Halloween collab 2022, hosted by Kathy's Favorite Things and Rebecca Creates. This is a four week long collaboration, and for week one, we are going to make some either ATCs or memory decks cards. I decided to do both. So I'm going to show you first the memory decks card I make. I use some of the graphic 45 paper that I have. This cute little bunny is from Liana Scrap Digital on Etsy and I'll link it down below. So I have a uh, gold and white paper rosette. It has a little tag here that says trick or treat with our purple gem brad little bow that was given to me by Crystal from Vividly on Paper. And then we have a little surprise that says trick or treat and when you slide it down, you see a little ghosty. And on the back, we have a cute pocket with another cute image from the same digital. And I have a little card pull here, so I'll put my information in the back. We have a pocket, so I'll be mailing this off. And my sewing machine was going a little nuts, so you can see it kind of went a little crazy there. So this is my memory decks card. Now let's have a look at my ATC card. So here is my ATC card. Now the artist trading cards usually measure three by four inches in size. And since this digital was the same size, I needed a little more room to play with, so I decided to make a larger one. And make a four by six. And I used some of this packing that I had for some packaging. I painted some of this shimmery green paint on it. And these are some remnants that I purposely left there. So I'll be putting the information on this ATC on the back. And on the top of our card, since we have that cute bat, I decided to put one of these Daiso bat wax seals. They're like full wax seals. He looks like a magician. So it says Abracadabra that came from that graphic 45 ephemera pack. And the pumpkin ephemera is also from the same collection. We have some of that beautiful orange trim from Dollar Tree and then a little shimmery gem dot. So I added dimension by just putting some foam sticker underneath him. But I thought this turned out really fun. As a matter of fact, I think this guy would look great on a Halloween journal cover or mini album. So that's my project share for this wonderful collaboration. Make sure to click on that hashtag and see what everybody else created. We have three more weeks to go. Stay tuned. And we have some fun projects in store to share with you. So I hope you guys check it out again. Big thank you to Rebecca and Kathy for hosting such a fun collaboration. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. Thanks again for watching. Carmia's Corner. See you next time. Bye.